Johnny. I sincerely do feel bad for Johnny, man. I sincerely do, man, and I, and I, I really mean it. I really mean it, because I know deep down in the heart, I know he's a nice guy. But uh, lately, for about a month, two months, he's been, uh, you know, he's been not behaving, man. He, he wants to be the drama queen of 19. He wants to be the biggest drama on 19 around the tri-state area. Well, that's his thing, man. But don't come out here and threaten everybody that you're going to kick everybody's ass, man. And like I told him, he said for me to be, when we were talking, he said for me to be a man. He said for me to tell the truth. He told me to tell the truth. I told him, don't talk about my family. Don't talk shit about me because I never said anything about him. But, he, you know, he keeps insisting that I said some shit about him, but he can't tell me what I said. Which is not true, because I never said anything about him. But it's all good, man. It's all good. He'll feel better tomorrow. When he's out there driving that cement truck he claims he does now, he says he's got a part-time, he'll feel better. Hey, uh, Johnny, enjoy yourself tomorrow, man. Enjoy yourself on that cement run. Well, Mr. 206, I got to agree to disagree with you, man, because I really ain't got no human compassion. I mean, none whatsoever. But any man has got the audacity to come out here crying about the commosity and atrocity that his own lips spewed and put him in this position. I really, I really can't sympathize with that, man. That's why, that's why somebody groaned out of my speaker and harassing me into succumbing to them. And then, you know, and then, and then I, you know, I, I don't feel like the punk. Lord have mercy. What did I just say? Thank you. Yeah, Roger on that, man. Roger on that. But I, you know, I gotta, I gotta speak my mind out. I gotta speak my heart out. I, I really do. I really, I'm being sincere, man. I really feel bad for Johnny. You, I feel even worse, dude. He's my new joke smoking partner. You hear him? No, that'll never happen. Not gonna happen, Richie. I'm gonna turn into a piece of shit like you. Not gonna happen. Smoking joke. I don't know. He's talking like uh, he gets down and smokes that shit with me, man. So you know. I kind of figured that's just the way it is. I gotta call a spade a spade, but you can listen to him cry out now. Hey, yo, 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 he got turned on in the middle of winter. I eventually came outside with no shirt on. Lord have mercy, what's the matter with these bobos? So you got to meet him? Did you ever meet Johnny? Yeah, I, I met him on two occasions, dude. Two separate occasions, I do believe. I do believe it was uh, two separate occasions, I believe so. Well, then you're lucky, Pistol, because I gave him a, a bunch of chances to meet up with me so we could put a high five on each other, and he was always a no-show. You're a lucky guy, man. Well, you know what the problem was? You know, public enemy number one, but when I'm out of here. All right, Pistol, I'm on the move too, man. I'm about to shut this off, man. I'll be back in a little while.